few more miles east. I don't remember taking this long last time. You were pissed drunk last time. I'm surprised you remember even going. Thank God we're here. I ran into some weird homeless people out here once. How could they be homeless if they live in the woods? Natives then, I guess. They really creep me out. Relax, Fleet. The river's right over there. There's houses all around us. They're for people. Oh, Natalie, yes, I've heard a lot about you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Strickland. Hi. Yeah, Hi. this is it. Isn't it beautiful? It is. Oh, you, you own all of these? I'll take that. Thank sure. you. <laughs> you like me to? Yeah. Sure. Thank you. All right, I'll bring these inside. Sherry's got a room set up for you. Okay, and, you know, cool. anything you need at all, you just no, let us know. I've got a little extra time. You know what I want to do. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose I do. What? Oh, same thing she always does. Uh, no falling in this year. Come on, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, okay. she's, she's crazy about it. See you Thank back you. at the house. Thank you. Right. Okay, thank you. Thanks for inviting me out. I just didn't want to be alone anymore. I know. I totally know. You know, it's really nice out here, and Strickland and Sherry, they're such nice people. You're gonna have fun and just feel relaxed. And... Oh, yeah. What is that? I have no idea. That's really... Okay, let's get out of here. Hey, Strickland. Hey, Debbie. Sweet. Happy fucking New Year. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So, are we the first year? Uh, no. Strickland's kind of cute. Sherry's his wife, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you like older men, don't you? Okay. Well, I wouldn't go after that one because uh, Sherry's got a real mean streak and I would hate to be on the wrong end of it. Gotcha. I hope I'm going to get a room. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I just think we should all give a little thanks. If we could do that, please. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Come on. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah. All, right. all right. Go for it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hey, wait a uh, second. You promised bread? Strickland. Promised Why do you have to go all crazy Jesus on us there? Just trying to give a little thanks. You don't even have to be religious to be thankful. Uh, <laughs> drink up, Fleet. You'll be more interesting. 
Okay. <laughs> Whatever you make, uh, man. Strickland, you're a twat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spirit. I'm going to see you get it into that last room and get 300 points. Hey, Strickland, does it ever make it to the last room? No, nope, never does. It's bad luck. Never? I've never seen it. What well, kind of bad luck? Nothing too bad. Just can't find my keys. Kind of bad luck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet Sherry. Oh, that always creeps me out. Mm. So what was Fleet talking about when he mentioned the natives? Well, there are people that live in that forest. Sometimes they wear robes, sometimes just heavy coats. They got a temple out there. It's built halfway into a mountainside, apparently. They worship that beast. A local sheriff came by to pick me up, go out there with him a couple years ago, they investigated the disturbance. They were gone by the time we got there, but he just kept saying he heard noises in the woods and some of the natives looked stranger than others, but he wouldn't say how. That sounds disturbing. I don't think they're dangerous. It's safe, I wouldn't worry. I'm more concerned about our neighbors here. Oh, baby. Mm. Come to Papa. Oh, I My keys back, please. Fleet, what are you doing? Fleet, you're not gonna be driving. You can't anywhere. drive, Fleet. Fleet. Fleet, Fleet don't you no. get Fleet? No. Fleet, don't you Fleet, what are you doing? No. What are you doing? Fleet, what the hell? Strickland, I am so sorry about this. Look, it's light out. I, let me just take him home now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, look, let's just let him sleep it off. I'll walk you both home later. No, it's okay, really. I'll just take him now. It, it's not that far. Yeah, and if he falls down in the middle of the forest, you gonna throw him over your back? <sighs> That's a good point. Come on, let's get this drunk ass inside. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Go for a ride. Yay! Come on. <laughs> oh, you stink. <laughs> You're still drunk. <laughs> Come on. 
<laughs> you gotta be kidding me. For the wonderful craft. Well, if you're gonna start so that, I better start that. that. <laughs> How the wild oh. wind blew. <laughs> she stood several blasts. She, she had, had 27 masts, and, and they called her the Irish Rover. We had one million bags of the pest like a rag. We had two million barrels of stones. We had three million sides of a blind horse's hides. We had four million barrels of bones. We had five million hogs and six million dogs and seven million barrels of porter. We had eight million tails of a man. We all could have been knifed out here. We're not going any further. We're gonna take him back to my cabin, wait till he's sober. I'm gonna have to file some kind of report on what happened here. We could be in deep shit. We could all go to jail for our part in desecrating that statue. You just can't destroy a religious ceremony like that. God knows these people ain't practicing in my faith, but they ain't never done nothing to us neither. Never. This is just plain bad. Well, you sound pretty logical for someone who just saved Fleet from a silver leper. Is that what that was? Well, we better hope so. Let's not talk about it. I'm gonna puke. <laughs> I'm gorgeously drunk. I smell. Oh, God. Don't you smell the blood? Shit. Fleet is sick. He's really sick. I think he should be better by morning. The doctor from the party. He lives nearby. If Fleet's not better in the morning, I'll bring him over. Fleet's not feeling real well. 
Would it be all right if the girls sleep in the living room tonight? Well, it's not very gentlemanly of late now, is it? What else is new? It's more for me than him. Well, if he's sick, he's sick. For a guy who had a fever last night? Yeah, I'm fine. Where are the girls? They're out down by the lake. They were a little grossed out by Fleet's eating habits. I bit it to pieces, but only in one spot. Well, quit scratching it. Come on, let's have another look. It was pink this morning, now it's grown black. I'm gonna go inside and get some fresh air. I'm not walking with Fleet to that forest again. Mm -mm. Agreed. He's a little insane right now, and I don't know if he's gonna get any worse. Do you think it's because of what happened last night? Like maybe he's sick from touching that leper? Mm -hmm. I don't know, he's got those black marks in a circle on his chest. That mm -hmm. don't seem natural. Meaning what? Unnatural as in supernatural? Yeah, well, I didn't wanna say it, but maybe he's cursed. Cursed? I'll get the doc over here later tonight. We'll find out what's going on. You seem awfully calm for someone considering. Well, I just had my morning coffee. Oh, look at that Stay with Fleet. Not now, Debbie. Well, tie him up so you don't have to worry. God damn it, you two! Come on, let's get him inside. <laughs> Jeez.
What you can you get the doctor? That's the wrong way! Wait, are you gonna be okay? I have no idea. Just stop! treated for rabies. No, no, but can you do that in here? Uh, I can give her the first shot, but she'll have to go to the hospital for the follow-ups. I could, I could take her down in the morning. Okay, well, Fleet is really sick. Really okay. sick. Would it be all right if the girl stayed here tonight? Mm -hmm. Will you follow us back and, and, and treat Fleet? Does he, have, does he have these same bites? Uh, no, I mean, maybe. It's, it's not a bite. It's more like a, you'll see when you get there. to worry Debbie and I are gonna be right here okay but you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning fleet will be better <laughs> now Debbie and I will yell through the door if we're coming in but other than that no matter what you hear do not open that door and if anything comes through it you shoot it <laughs> look this isn't good it ain't no doctor's work
He's got full-blown rabies. There's no way to reverse the symptoms at this point. This looks like rabies to you? Yes, I'm, I'm sure of it. I can, I can send for help, but he's probably gonna pass before they even get here. Pass? Yes, um, I can, I can stay the night and keep an eye on him if you like. No, Doug, we'll watch him, thanks. Yeah, Doc, we'll take care of it. I'm very sorry. Rabies. Well you don't look so good, Maggie. I, I don't feel good. I feel like I have a flu. What the f is going on? I'm gonna go to the kitchen and get you some water, okay? What the f is happening to me? What is that? It can't take away the life. It can't kill him. We have to do it. What is it? it? The thing that's in him. We have to get it out of him. We have to get it out. Look, I know he wasn't bit by a dog, but are you saying that he's possessed? He's cursed for certain. Possessed, probably. This is not rabies in him. I know it is not. We have to help him. I'm not going to let him die. We have to do everything we can, and you're going to help me. Have you done this before? No, I haven't. Just get the salt, water, and oil. found a few. I'm not sure. Should we read them all? Or, you know, maybe we should just say, you know, some Our Fathers and Hail Marys. Read me what you got. Okay. They went across the lake to the region of the Gerasenes. When Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an evil spirit came from the tombs to meet him. This man lived in the tombs and no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain. For he had often been chained hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills he would cry out and cut himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus? Swear to God that you won't torture me. For Jesus had said to him, Come out of this man, you evil spirit. Then when Jesus asked him, what is your name? He replied, my name is Legion, for we are many. And he begged Jesus again and again not to send him out of the area. A large herd of pigs was feeding on a nearby hillside. The demons begged Jesus, send us out amongst the pigs and allow us to go into them. He gave them permission and the evil spirits came out and went into the pigs. The herd, about 2,000 in number, rushed down the steep bank and into the lake and were drowned. <laughs> he likes the story. Those tending the pigs ran off and reported this in the town and countryside and the people went out to see what had happened. When they came to Jesus they saw the man who had been possessed by the legion of demons sitting there dressed and in his right mind and they were afraid. Those who had seen it told the people what happened to the demon possessed man. Then the people began to plead with Jesus to leave their region. As Jesus was getting into the boat, the man who had been demon-possessed begged to go with him, but Jesus did not let him. So all we need are 2,000 pigs? Do we need animals, you think? Maybe. I don't think we need 2,000. What can we get right now?
the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. There. It's blessed. It's all holy. Okay, now what? Uh, well, I'll read this passage, and uh, you throw the stuff on it. In what order? Are you with me? No, what order? They... Oh. Uh, start with the water. Wait, wait, wait till I'm in a couple of paragraphs. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute. When the demon left, the man who had been mute spoke, and the crowd was amazed. Others tested him, asking for a sign from heaven. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, If Satan is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? I say this because you claim that I drive out demons by Beelzebub. Now if I drive out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your followers drive them out? But if I drive out demons by the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has come to you! Oil next? Yeah. Religion. That's all I'm saying. Well, look, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna save them as much as you do. But you gotta understand, I can't partake in any of this pagan or native stuff. It's blasphemy. It's like saying that I believe in these pagan gods. I am not gonna let him die. <sighs> did this, then why would a deer come around here? Well, I wish I could say it was afraid of us, but I don't think it gives a shit. If you were that thing, would you care about anything? Okay. So what do you plan on doing? I'm gonna kill it. Could have used that in the woods. This is for killing. I didn't know what we were dealing with in the woods before, now I do. Wait, wait, we're not killing it. Why not? Because we're gonna bring it back here. Why the f do I want that thing back in my cabin for? Because we're gonna bring it back and show it to Fleet, and he might know what we want. 
Look, that thing is getting closer by the minute, and Fleet's howls are starting to line up with that leper's. I have no clue what would happen if the two of them were in the same room together. We might be fighting two demons at the same time then. I'm going to go out into the woods, and I'm going to bash its skull in. No, you're not. We're going to bring it back, we're going to show it to Fleet, and it might lift the curse off of him. Bull you never f home should try, right? Right? Fine. We'll do it your way. Thank you. But I am telling you right now, if things go bad, I am putting that thing down. Who? Fleet or the left? Both, I guess. Must be nice having friends like you. Sometimes it is. <laughs> Sometimes it isn't. I can hear him. It doesn't sound like we're getting any closer to him. He's toying with us. He's making us turn in circles. Maybe he's trying to tire us out so, so he can attack us. How far out are we? Do you know the way back? We'll figure it out. First things first, let's catch this thing. Play with pebbles. This creature has no manners whatsoever. Poor fleet brought to such degradation by so foul a creature. Thought that rock nearly killed you. My head is hard as hell. I'm not gonna disagree. Come on.
got him? Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> You did this to him. Now you're gonna fix it! You sure you're up for this? Oh yeah. We're gonna burn you. Until you take the curse off of him. What do you think someone's doing? Something awful, I guess. I think he's gonna do it. It's gonna be in his plate. Look at me.
you want. Flick. <laughs> Flick. As long as I live, I'll never talk about this night again. Not to you, not to anyone. I've already done enough to ensure my dismissal from the Sheriff's Department, as well as permanent quarters in a lunatic asylum. Do you believe that we're awake? Do you think if we let Fleet die and we can do this, that we'd be better people? Yeah. Do you think he'll be okay? Oh yeah, he'll sleep it off, I'm sure. Oh, you mean Fleet or the leper? The leper. Well, he's got bigger cosmetic problems than a few burns. I'll tell you one thing though, he's gonna stay the hell away from us now. Maybe if we just treated them right. I'd like to think there's better people than us in this forest. People who wouldn't dare put out cigars on others' gods. But that ain't us. Quit that! The thing is cold. Found you, folks. Never mix your drinks. You slept the clock round with a vengeance. I, I don't understand. He's he's fine. Yeah, he's fine, Doc. His fever broke last night. He didn't, he didn't have a fever. He was he was dying of rabies. He, uh, uh, he uh, should uh, be dead. I'm sure the fleet.
get slow. <laughs> Ugh. Horrid doggy smell in here. You should burn some incense or something. Did I say something wrong? I don't know how to answer that, Flea. Where might I find a towel? For what? Oh, I want to go take a shower. I'm not your mother. Look around. You okay? Yeah. You know, this whole situation would make a hell of a lot more sense if Fleet wasn't such a prick. I wouldn't disagree. If I... <laughs> Bastards. 